क्वेश्चन नंबर 226 सॉल्व 2y dx plus 3x dy plus 2xy into 3y dx plus 4x dy equal to zero तो यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन डी सॉल्व यूजिंग रूल सिक्स जस्ट आई विल री अरेंज द क्वेश्चन if you the, um, the standard form is x raised to alpha y raised to beta into my dx plus nx dy plus x raised to alpha dash y raised to beta dash into m dash y dx plus n dash x dy equal to zero so as you can see the question is given in this format only so we can directly go for rule six uh, here uh, earlier in the last question we said that the integrating factor of this part can be found out by uh, x raised to k m minus 1 minus alpha into y raised to k n minus 1 minus beta uh, and integrating factor of this part is integrating factor is x raised to k dash alpha sorry k dash m dash minus 1 minus alpha dash into y raised to k dash n dash minus 1 minus beta dash so uh, here we equate km minus 1 minus alpha and k dash m dash minus 1 minus alpha dash similarly we equate kn minus 1 minus b and k k dash n dash minus 1 minus beta dash uh, so that we have a common integrating factor and solve for k and k dash um, and find k and k dash such that these coefficients are e uh, these powers are equal uh, sorry these powers are equal uh, and we have a common integrating factor that is one approach in this question we are going to use a different one so if even if you forget all this km minus 1 minus alpha you can uh, simply say in such questions x raised to h into y raised to k is the integrating factor and we uh, we use the uh, con uh, the once you multiply with the differential equation it becomes if it is the integrating factor it it becomes the differential equation becomes exact so we use the condition for exact equation do m by do y equal to do n by do x to uh, solve for h and k and we will find uh, this integrating factor we can also use this method uh, this uh, the advantage or the good part of this method is you don't have to memorize all this even if you forget you can simply use uh, this uh, method uh, to so find the integrating factor we will see how so if x raised to h and x raised to h into y raised to k is the integrating factor if you multiply with the differential equation we get 2 into x raised to h into y raised to k plus 1 dx plus so just multiplying differential equation okay 2 uh, plus 3 into x raised to h plus 1 into y raised to k dy plus so we have 6 x y square here so 6 x h plus 1 y square so y raised to k plus 2 x raised to h plus 1 y this is y square so y square into k is y raised to k plus 2 so dx plus uh, 4 into 2, 8. 
8 into x square x square becomes x raised to h plus 2 y raised to uh, so y raised to 1 so y raised to a plus 1 e y equal to 0 so we can group uh, this to a form mdx plus ndy so uh, we can say now 2x raised to h into y raised to k plus 1 plus dx term is this so 6 sorry h plus 1 raised to k plus 2 dx plus just I raise to k plus eight x raise to h plus two into y raise to k plus one dy equal to 0. Now this is in the format mdx plus ndy equal to 0. So we use the condition for exact equation dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x. So dou m by dou y here we get 2 into y raised to k plus 1 into differential of x raised to h. Sorry it is dou m by dou y right. So 2x raised to h into k plus 1 into y raised to k plus plus uh, 6x raised to h plus 1 into k plus 2 into y raised to y raised to k plus 1 okay and dou n by dou x is uh, 3y raised to k into h plus 1 into x raised to h plus plus uh, a 8 y raised to k plus 1 into h plus 2 into x raised to h plus 1. So if you can if you compare the coefficients uh, these two must be equal if it is an exact equation. <coughs> so you can compare the coefficients. Uh, can you just uh, I'll just pause one second. <laughs> Sorry for the pause. Uh, so if you compare the coefficient. X raised to you have uh, X raised to H and Y raised to K here. So 2 into that um, so dou M by dou Y equal to dou N by dou X implies 2 into K plus 1. 2 into k plus 1 is equal to 3 into h plus 1. This is the first equation. Uh, and 2 into h k plus 1 is equal to 3 into h plus 1. Similarly, 6 into k plus 2 is equal, uh, equal to 8 into h plus 2. So we have two equation. Now we have to solve this. Um, becomes 3 so 3h minus 2k 3h <coughs> sorry 3h minus 2k 3 minus 2 is uh, 1 plus 1 equal to 0. Here we have 8h 
So, four h minus three k. So four into two is eight. Eight minus six is two. Equal to zero. So solving four h h by minus four minus four minus plus three minus four plus three. So minus four. k by 4 minus 6 1 by 2. minus 9 plus 8 so we have h is equal to minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 minus 9 plus 8 is minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 and k equal to 4 minus 6 is minus 2 so minus 2 by minus 1 which is 2 so h equal to 1 and k equal to 2 so uh, we'll just i didn't mark the equation since we got uh, let me just write so our integrating factor is x raised to h into y raised to k. So let's call this 1. So using 1, using 2n, sorry. One. We have our integrating factor is equal to x into y raised to 2. So we got our integrating factor. This is one method to find the integrating factor. You could also solve it using this k m minus 1 minus alpha k n minus 1 minus beta this and using and comparing the coefficient uh, and equating the coefficients and finding suitable k and k dash. Even in that method, you will get the same step. This is another method you can use. Either way, whichever method is comfortable for you, please use that. And so, integrating factor is x, y square. Now, we will just copy our differential equation to a new page and solve it and convert it into an exact equation and solve it. Okay, so our integrating factor is x y square. Now, if you multiply throughout by x y square, we have mm, one second. We don't have to. Okay, we don't have to multiply here. Sorry, uh, we already found out previous we have mdx plus ndy form so let me do one thing uh, you can do that uh, to the original equation doesn't matter since we have mdx plus ndy form here i'll just use this instead so we have uh, So we have mdx is equal to nd ndy form and we found out um, x raised to h and y right h is equal to 1 and k equal to 2. So if you apply our equation becomes 2x y raised to 3 plus 6 x square uh, y raised to 2 plus 2 is 4 dx 
plus 3 x raised to h plus 1 is 2x square y raised to 2 plus 8 x raised to h plus 2 is 3 y k plus 1 is 3 dy equal to 0 so we know that this equation is exact uh, this is our integrating factor and if you uh, we use the condition dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x to find this integrating factor so we know this is exact equation you can check this is our m and this is our n uh, so since this is exact we can apply the solution integral m dx becomes 2xy cube plus 6x square y raised to 4 plus integral terms in n without x so every uh, n has two terms both has x in it so this integral goes vanishes so is equal to a constant sorry it was not zero it is a constant okay so this is our final integral solution so we integrate uh, keeping y as a constant so 2y cube into x square by 2 plus 6 uh, y raised to 4 into x cube by 3 equal to c so simplifying we have um, x square y cube plus 2 x cube y raised to 4 is equal to c So this is the final solution to our question. These are the steps we found. We applied rule five to find the integrating factor x y square. We used a different method to find the integrating factor. You can check the previous question to see uh, the other method we used uh, to find the integrating factor. So these are the steps. This is the solution to question number 226. So I am marking this star. Even the previous question, please take a note. So if you are not familiar with rule 6, it will be really difficult to solve this question. So in the exam, uh, they will mix the question up and uh, they won't uh, make it very obvious that we have to apply rule 6 here. So once you do enough question, uh, you will get a clarity uh, how to rearrange the question and identify which rule we should use to solve the questions so do as much problem as you can i am i am covering all the problems in the standard test book uh, make sure you go through all the questions to s solve uh, the question um, solve the difficult questions that appear in the exam Thank you. This is a solution to 226.